Hello, a very good, wonderful, beautiful autumn afternoon to you from the space where Acornwood meets the edge of Dragonfly Heath. So as it's a very strange time in lots of ways in our world and also it's a very uh, time between times, between autumn and winter, the time of, uh, well, yesterday was Halloween, All Hallows, Hallow Mass, Samhain, whatever you like to call it. Uh, well, Samhain Eve, I suppose, technically, because today is Samhain, the first day of November, and it's also All Saints Day. And I've always loved this time of year. I've loved the idea of ha the kind of beautiful, rich evening of Halloween, as a child, it was a very special, magical kind of time. Uh, for reasons I'll probably uh, ramble on about as we go on. But today, All Saints Day, tomorrow, All Souls Day. Well, I was only really aware of those days as, as an adult. And I just find the whole of those three days a very, a very wavery kind of time. Time between times, world, bet world between the worlds, all those sort of expressions which might sound like cliches but somehow seem very true. Anyway, I'm right here on the edge of the wood as befits this um, in between time and I'm actually in the centre of a little grove of birch trees. Just arrived and the, what you first saw was a little panorama right round from the middle of this, uh, this circle of trees which I only just discovered actually recently, but it's a beautiful little spot, uh, as I say, on the edge of the heath on this side, and then over here is a big drop down, and it's fields, and you see deer, there's a stream where you can see another line of trees beyond the field, that's a little stream, I think more of a man-made drainage ditch, but it sounds nicer to call it a stream, and, it, it, and it's quite wide actually, it's quite, it's, it's quite a stream-like, and also I have on occasion seen a barn owl, flying across this field so I always keep an eye out for the barn owl or barn owls and I just arrived and the first thing I saw when I arrived in this in this circle of trees was well that's not not surprising because there's so many at the moment but a little fungus a little fungi and the second thing I saw was this bone I've left it here just to show you I, thought, I don't know what kind of bone it is I mean, if anyone knows um, I'd be very pleased to uh, be told, but it's very weathered, it's an old bone. Um, it could be a bird bone, could be a rabbit bone. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I just feel with this time of year, all saints, all souls, everything going back into the earth, I thought a very appropriate find for today, and it was just lying here. So I just find some great beauty in, in something as as weathered as this has become as a remaining part of a living creature. Anyway, enough of this. We're going to go on to the heath. Just a very quick walk on the heath and just have a look at it again, just at this time of, well, All Saints Day, 1st of November. And All Saints, it's a, I guess it's a Christian, well, it is a Christian festival, but I, for some reason, I've always thought of the saints as a huge mass of faces looking down like like constellations and so when I look up at the night sky that's what makes me think of all saints and it's the full moon well the full moon was last night so the stars weren't actually quite so bright as they are when when when, it, when, the, light, when the sky is darker but I still, I still a bit of clarity last night I didn't have the moon was full the stars you could see the stars and Mars in particular the bright at the moment and big you see it straight out of my window at the cottage. It's very windy, as you can hear. Um, I think we're just getting the tail end of a hurricane or a storm. We don't get, because I'm in the east here, it's kind of blown itself out quite a bit by the time it gets over here when it started in the west. But we've still, yeah, still the forecast to be quite windy today. And um, here we are just on the heath. So as you can see, what you see is gorse and bracken and the gorse I think that must have been cut down a few weeks or months ago by people who managed the heath and you can see it springing up really green it's strange to see so much greenness in the autumn but it's it's actually really um, looking very healthy again I was worried about it in the height of the dry season because lots of 
dead looking gorse everywhere but no you shouldn't really worry about gorse it's as tough as old boots uh, that's why it's on places like heathlands um, and the heather well that's mostly finished now but you can just see some some um, flowers are still pink so there's just a little bit of colour there as well and the bracken of course is turning beautiful bronze colours and yellows as are the birch leaves so I think what we'll do is just literally walk across the heath just for a few yards just to take in the late autumn or perhaps the first day of winter is another way of looking at, at the 1st of November in I think the Celtic calendar. So yeah, here we are on the first day of winter. I wonder what the winter will bring. When I was last up here, I made, made a little video, oh, I don't know, a few weeks ago now, probably. Uh, oh, a lovely sunshine just came out, can you see? It's really lovely now. I was talking about the gypsies on, on this heathland, and there I had an old, I found, had, had, uh, found an old black and white photograph of an encampment up on this heath. And I found it very evocative to think, think of that. It was, a, I think, a Victorian or Edwardian photograph. And on days like this, it all seems very close as well. You can imagine the, 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 the fires keeping people warm in the chilly evenings, children playing up here and finding all sorts of strange objects for them to play with, like twisted bits of gorse root, perhaps even bones like I've just found. And I'm sure they would have known the right mushrooms to eat. There are quite a lot, it's quite a lot of fungi, but I never quite feel confident to pick or try to cook any, any even if I, oh, I, I think I would if it was a puffball. There, you can't mistake them for anything else, but I think anything else I would be very, oh, well, I was, I was, I was steer clear of. But then I haven't got that pressing need to eat anything that I possibly can get hold of which is edible um, although we're getting quite close to that really <laughs> where things are at home but no I shan't be taking any risks and I certainly shan't be eating a hedgehog and it's not always often nice to look across here where we're just heading towards Looking down over, I think it must have been a kind of, probably a gravel working, something like that, when you get these dips in Heathland in Norfolk. And again, very, very green. All this gorse is really rejuvenated. There's a jay going across. I don't know if you just saw the jays, or a pair of jays just flew across. I know that they're renowned for picking up acorns and burying them for the winter. And actually, some of some of the things this year have been really, really uh, scarce. Some of the fruits and nuts in the in the countryside, but acorns. There have been loads of acorns. They've been really, really uh, prolific this year. So that is good news for the jays, and I think crows maybe as well, and and certainly squirrels will be enjoying the thought of. <laughs> having some winter supplies. So we just walked down, you can see there's a sort of path uh, really cropped by rabbits as well. It's very, very closely cropped. And I can also see some horse hoof uh, prints. So it's somewhere people come down with their horses, which is uh, very lucky to have somewhere like this so close by. And some of the gorse is actually in flower. I think because it was cut back and has rejuvenated, it's, you can see a bit of yellow there. Uh, I'm focusing okay. So yeah, it's a really strange in between time. And I think it feels all the more so when you've got little bits of fresh growth and then other things really dying back. And actually there's a bit of gorse close to the path here. looking very fresh and yet you've got the yellow of the uh, birch leaves that are uh, turning golden for the for to, before they fall yeah it's a very strangely calm and quiet time even though the wind is 
quite strong it still somehow feels very still so I should go back to the cottage now I've got some I'm hoping to do a bit of gardening before it gets dark of course it gets dark really early now but I will be back and I did say that I would um, actually be showing you more of things that are happening in and around the old shop rather than always going out and about but it was so tempting this afternoon with the sun shining and the breeze and everything so that's why I've come out for this video but I will uh, do some gardening and I'll show you what's been going on in the garden and what still needs to be done in the garden and it was just quite actually well I find it quite exciting the thought of what can happen and um, after a very, very shaky start in that garden so we'll have we'll come back to that and for now I'll just wish you very happy all saints all souls all hallows time so see you soon bye